all righty room. Miasmata, miasmata. What did we decide it was called? Let's go with miasmata. I <laughs> think that's what we decided. Uh, part two. Uh, in part two, uh, so part one, we made it to Outpost Vega and found Herbert Hubert Herbert. Herbert's crazy paintings of the creature. Uh, and in this, I'll meet the creature. I'm going to start off by grabbing one of those red mushrooms, which I grabbed the last time but fell off, and uh, I just couldn't be bothered to carry on with that, so I reloaded from just before. And then I saw this little path up here, and I was thinking, ooh, what's up here? But the answer is not very much. Now, uh, from here, I went to check out what this was, and this mushroom actually gives me uh, mental stimulant, something like that. Energy? Ugh, I forget. We'll have a look in a second. But Sorry, I'm just tagging these uh, landmarks, so I've got them as future reference points. I figure that's probably quite important. And then, so going from there, here we go, just uh, tagging away. Having a look around, I wanted to see where this hut was, and I finally found it. Uh, there's a little note inside after examining this. Now, have a look. It gives a mental clarity tonic. And a mental clarity tonic, I think, tells me where I am on the map at any time. Here we go. See the clarity tonic. This te tonic temporarily boosts your self-awareness. Your location on the map is revealed for the duration. So I think probably what I want to do is start carrying around at least... Well, you can only carry around one, but I'll start carrying around one of those at all times because it just seems like it would be very useful. I also found a note about making anti-hallucination medicines, but I've already found the red-yellow hibiscus, and I find the sunflower a bit later on, and they don't do anything, so I can only imagine it didn't make it into the game for whatever reason, but I haven't really had a hallucination, so it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, uh, heading back this way, I'm now going to follow the map down to Ruin Site B to look for the bioluminescent algae, which is part one of Agent Y, which is, I guess, one-sixth of the cure. So really, ultimately, this game, all you've got to do is find six plants. It's just a question of finding them and coming across clues. And um, I'm at a fork in the roads here, and I can't work out which one is the way to go. And I figure it's probably the left, because the left is away from the coast, and it's getting a little bit dark, but it's not the end of the world. So I take a torch with me, just to kind of help out a bit. And I'm just making sure I'm on the right path, and I'm taking a point to a nearby landmark, just because even if you can only see one, if you can work out roughly how far you are from the landmark, at least it gives you a pretty good idea of where you are. But I get off course a bit here, and I get a bit lost, and then I'm heading down this way, and I see a hut, and I'm like, oh, I'll head over to the hut, and then I fall while I'm just walking down the hill, which is super annoying. Uh, but then I drop off there and that doesn't hurt me. So the falls are a little bit unpredictable on this. But I'm trying to work out where I am. I've really no idea. And then I have a look at the map and I realise I'm actually back the wrong side of the trail. I've crossed over that hill, which is uh, blanked out on the map. I haven't discovered it yet. So I'm in the middle of that circle by that hut or tent. Anyway, it's night time now. And I don't particularly want to be out at night because I'm scared the creature will eat my face. Uh, so I have a little sleep and, well, two sleeps, and then come back up uh, the following day, early in the morning, for a big trek out. So off we head, and I'm now, um, I've slept, so that's taken care of the fever, and I've got no points of reference, I've got a couple of landmarks here, and this is basically where I was before, this is the kind of greyed out area in the middle, but I figure if I carry on down this way, I will event and just follow this sort of river round to the coast. I'll eventually get down to the point where the blue trail to Outpost Vega cuts back in. No, oh, not Outpost Vega, Ruin Site B. So I think I'm somewhere around there. Um, and I figure, well, I'll get to high ground, because then maybe at least I can spot a landmark and get a point of reference. And then I come to this, and I'm like, oh god, where do I go? So uh, ease my way up this hill to get up here. And sure enough, I can see some sort of coastal signs and a couple of statue heads that I can't triangulate, but I figure if I just carry on heading this way I should hopefully eventually come to a path, and sure enough, here is a little path. And I figure I'm probably on the right track now. So heading along here, I eventually come to uh, some stuff that I can actually ping there and there's still that statue head in the distance that I can't ping, but I'm thinking, well, if I can take a bead on that, 
then maybe I can work out where I am. So I head towards it and I figure if that is where I think it is, then there's going to be a few more landmarks I can tag off. And sure enough, there's a whole bunch of ruins around here. So this is ruin site B. I've done okay despite getting a bit lost initially. Heading back's a lot easier, you'll see later. But, um, so trying to uh, just tag some statues up on the distant hills using these two landmarks as reference points. It's a little bit fiddly finding them sometimes because you can't quite see them through the trees, but I do it eventually, so that's where I am. And then I tag that statue, and then there's another one just there that I can tag, and they're quite close, but I figure they're probably going to be worthwhile later. And then head out this way a bit to the east? No, to the west, sorry. Uh, and I'm curious what that plant is, but there's a few little plants which are just sort of decorative and you can't actually pick them up. That's one of them. There's a purple one I'll find a bit later on that's the same. But you can jump a little bit, so I jump up there, but it doesn't really help me. And then there's a big old drop down there, but there's also a hut down there. And I'm right by a landmark here, so I'm slap bang in the middle of the ruin sites. And I figure, well, if I just head out this way, then I can use those two landmarks I've just walked past to tag the stuff out there bit thirsty so have a delicious drink and there is a statue head and I think that's the one round by Outpost Vega and what I really should have done is just walked along the coast initially that would have been the smart move but anyway uh, tagging that that's the second point so I've now got that statue marked and there isn't much else to tag from here but I've seen down here a couple of other landmarks but they're already tagged on the map so again that gives me a good point of reference but just down there you'll notice some mushrooms so I figure I want to go down and have a look to see what they are, but I sort of slide off here in a second. There's the mushroom. Mmm, delicious. And that's actually part one of the energy stimulant, uh, of the mental stimulant. So it means I can stop, or the mental drug. So it means I can stop taking around the mental stimulant, but I fall off the side into the water, which is unfortunate, but the mushroom is there floating in the water. And I'm just getting my bearings to make sure I haven't gone too far, and sure enough I haven't. But while I'm there I tag that statue, and there is my mushroom. Hello, delicious mushroom. And there's a convenient path back up here that I ignore and turn around because I figure I want to get up this way. Which maybe wasn't the best move, but it works out okay in the end. So heading round here, I've now got this mushroom and all I want to do is get to one of the huts on the map to be able to analyse it, or one of the tents. So tents tend to have a specimen storage tray and also a uh, examination tray, but they don't tend to have lab trays, which I guess makes sense because they're just little tents. But uh, it is just down here, the first tent, and there's a note in there, so I dropped that down, but I didn't mean to. Have a little examination, and it is, it counteracts type C poison. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know I could get poison, but all right. And there's a mad message from Herbert, Hubert, Herbert. And there's another hut right nearby. But it's down a little bit here, and there's another note, and this is one of Dr. What's-His-Name's journals. And these journals, what is it, Dr., I missed it. But these basically give you background into the world outside Eden, and also what he's been doing here. So that one was just about him turning up and gaining pleasure from working like a simple man lifting heavy goods, because he's a work-shy doctor who just does nothing but research. Anyway, from there I figure a save is probably a good bet, because I've had a couple of crashes now. And so saving often is smart. And then it's a question of heading to the bioluminescent algae. And down here, you'll see, even though I fall like an idiot, just on that tree stump is uh, the second part of the mental drug. So the two parts for the mental drug are right near Outpost Vega. One is just to the west by those two sort of uh, monoliths. And one is down by the uh, algae here. So I'm looking at the map and I figure, I, I'm looking at my compass, I have to head east a bit to get to there. And bioluminescent means that it glows in the dark. And so the indication is that it's very hard to spot during the day, but if you come here at night time it should be fine. But it's only 3pm, so I'm like, well, I, I can just get to the rough area and then wait till night time. And I'm just having a look around. I've also found uh, a thing there, that sort of mushroomy thing that grows on trees, the fungus. And I got a bit of fever, so I wanted to take my first drug, my first um, fever cure. And it's three, so I'm like, okay, well, you know. But then I find this. And I grab it. And that is the bioluminescent algae. So I don't even have to wait till nighttime and risk the wrath of the beast. The beast, the creature. So then I think, well, how do I get back? And actually, it turns out there's kind of a path here. Once I break through the trees, you'll see here. There's actually, so I could have just taken that path down and not fallen. But had I done that, 
I might not have found the mental stimulant drug, so I'm glad I had a little poke around. Anyway, swap that out and put the mushroom there and examine this, and sure enough, combined with a type C poison inhibitor, which is the mushroom I just found, I can make a brain emphasis drug. And this basically works like the stimulant, but it's permanent. So it means I don't have to carry that energy stimulant around anymore, and I'm actually going to swap it pretty soon. Here we go. Uh, mental stimulant. There we go. And so I'm putting those two pieces there on the left, and I just want to examine the... Um, oh, no, not that. Synthesize the brain emphasis drug. That's one of my subtasks now. I want to examine the uh, mushroom that I just found. And this makes a mental stimulant, so that's not going to be much use. Um, so then I just want to examine the bioluminescent algae, and sure enough, I need one more uh, element to... I need a stabilizing agent, or a stabilizing something, to make a to make agent Y. And I've got no idea where that is, because notes have run out at this point. And this is pretty much where the game just goes, okay, go exploring. As far as I can tell, maybe there's more, but I couldn't find any more notes to indicate what might the, what the next step should be. So it's getting a little bit late, but I figure, actually, if I stick to the path, and now I roughly know where the path is, I should make it back okay. So I drink some water and just start running it down towards the path, because I want to make it back to Outpost Vega and make some more, well, make the mental stimulant drug, and also the uh, make another basic medicine. I'm getting thirsty on the way, but I've sped this up to times eight, because it is literally just following the path. There's no forks, except... I'm walking along the path here and I come to this weird looking statue that sort of looks a bit like an owl, maybe. Um, and it's an unmarked landmark, but right nearby it, and it's right on the path, you should see it just to the side, and here you will see those plants in the distance that are kind of bright blue. And they are part one of the physical stimulant. And I've got absolutely no idea where the second part of the physical stimulant is. Uh, but I ditch my red mushroom, because I grabbed another one of those on the way. I just saw it on my uh, route. Uh, no, I didn't. I picked it up from the specimen tray because I ran out of space. But there are a bunch right nearby Outpost Vega, so I can get back there relatively easily and cook up some more of, or cook up some of that location awareness drug. Anyway, getting back onto the path here, I'll speed it up again once I'm on the path. But watch out for the blue cap mushrooms. You definitely want to get those. So three of the six drugs, or three of the six plants required for making the drugs are right near that section, so that's kind of interesting. And I'm actually going to make it my mission now, I think, to find the mental, uh, to find the other part of the physical stimulus drug. But first of all, I want to synthesize the mental stimulant drug. So here we go, putting the two parts down there, and then activate, and out of nowhere, I magic up a syringe. Hello, syringe. There we go. So grab that and inject myself, and it changed from blue to green, or green to blue, which is intriguing, but let's not worry about that too much. And then it's time to examine the blue-capped mushroom. So, first of all, have a delicious drink of water and refill my canteen. And then drop it on the examination table, and combined with a type A poison inhibitor, which is going to be the giant bloom, I think it was. Um which I've still got to locate, and that's a big old purple plant. I found a note earlier which showed me exactly what it was I needed for that. I think uh, we'll get to it in a second. Uh, no? Okay. But I had a look. I've cut out some of the flicking through the notebook just because I spent quite a lot of time in there, and it's not something you necessarily want to see. But uh, there we go. I uh, put that little plant back there, and then I figure, well... I'm going to strike out for fresh grounds and just see what is around. But it's getting a little bit late now. So first of all, a sleep is in order. There we go, let's have a little sleep. And then I actually went for lunch. So then I came back and reloaded the game and I was looking out of the window. And because I'd already used my basic synthesis, or my basic medicine earlier, I just wanted to craft another one so I'm loaded up. And I should have at this point gone hunting for red mushrooms, but completely forgot. And so I figure, well, I'll just I'll head out north and see what's north, and if I stick a little bit close to the coast, I'm going to get up onto this high point here. But then, oh, hello, statue heads. So I triangulate these statue heads because I figure they're going to be useful. There we go. And get a couple of beads on them, and then nearly fall down there. Oh my god, thank goodness I didn't. And then head along here, and I figure I'll just tag those statues again so that I've got them on the map. There we go, and just opening up a little bit more of the map. But now we've got that one and that one there, so that's good news. 
And then I figure I will just continue heading east and a little bit north because that's the unexplored part of the map. Or at least that's close. And I'm just going to make slow inroads in here. And there we go, revealing a bit more of the map, heading this way. And I figure, well, there's that statue in the distance that I tagged earlier. And I know that's out on the coast, but I can sort of head that way. And you can see there I was drowning just from swimming a really short way. So I really want to get hold of the physical, the giant bloom for the other part of the physical drug, because kind of adventuring without that is problematic at best. Anyway. Uh, just cross-referencing my location again, revealing a bit more of the map, when I start hearing a heartbeat. I'm like, da -dum, da -dum. oh god, it's the creature. So now I've got the drug active. If I crouch, what it'll do is auto look towards him. And there he is, there he is, he's going to eat my face. Uh, so I'm just kind of walking away from him while I'm crouched, pushing down and backwards. And it's interesting that you move quite quickly while you're crouched. Seemingly much quicker than when you walk, or at least moving backwards you move much more quickly. But I'm just now backing directly away from him and eventually the heartbeat stops and he disappears and so all is well. But that is my first creature sighting. So I'm thirsty again, I have a little drink and then I'm heading out this way. Constantly looking at the time and the compass just to make sure I'm not going too far askew. And trying to get up to high points to spot landmarks and there is a hut. So I bring up the map in a second I think to try and tag it. There's another plant that I thought might be interesting but it's really not can't even pick it up. So I get up to this high point and I figure I will tag some viewpoints from here. There's another little hut there, but none of them, there's nothing to tag and those uh, oh, fall down there, unbelievable. But there's nothing to tag from there. So I like that, have a save. The food doesn't appear to do anything, which is kind of frustrating. But then I use those two statues to tag my location here and you can see now I've got these two huts on the map. So I go into those. There was nothing much in the first one, but in the second one there's a note here and it's another journal from Dr. Sanchez. Again, just a bit of background. Um, so nothing too intriguing there. And it's still relatively early in the afternoon, so I haven't got too much to worry about. And actually, do you know what? I might just start heading out at night because it seems like the creature is going to get me any time anyway. Because um, he got me in the middle of the day there, right? And so I'm about here and I'm thinking, well, if I carry on heading a little bit east towards that sort of area, let's see what I can see. And that's relatively easy to get down. And uh, over here, again, getting to a high vantage point to try and tag off. Oh, my God, it's the creature. So the creature is right on top of me. And I'm like, oh, God, where do I go? What can I do? I fall down there. It's still on me. And you can see it, I think, up there now. There it is. And it's sort of this weird horned green thing, so it kind of blends into the grass. And I figured, you know what, at this point I'm just going to run away. I am just going to run. There it is coming up here. Oh god, it's going to eat my face. It's sort of a cross between a lizard and a cat. And I'm just running this way blindly when I see this house and I get inside. And I'm hoping they won't come into houses, and sure enough it disappears. So then I'm trying to work out where I've actually run to. And I've run to here. And I'm not exactly sure where here is. Well, it's actually the hut that I was at earlier when I took the wrong turning trying to get to Outpost Vegas. And from there I think, well, now I need more uh, drugs. I still need to make a new version of the white drug. And I've got a couple of points to cross-reference there. Uh, now I need to make a white drug, and it's getting quite late now, so maybe I'll head to Outpost Draco, which is where I started off. And then I got the fever again, so I had to take another drug. And uh, I'll head back to Draco and go east from Draco, because maybe there's some stuff up there. And I come across this, and there's some more plants that I can't pick up. And there are no landmarks that I can tag off, unfortunately. Well, there's one. So I get high, and I can tag off that statue head and that statue head, and that gives me a big old new chunk of map here with another couple of huts on it. So there's one there, and uh, it is just there. I'm like, where is it on my map? Oh, it's southeast. southeast. Oh, it's there. Uh, it's another note from Dr. Sanchez, a bit of background about the world around us, uh, but nothing actually significantly useful. Save the game and head to this uh, hut down here. And this is actually, I hadn't looked out because my spatial awareness and kind of immediate ability to uh, work out where I am is not great. So I hadn't actually worked out that this is just the other side of the coast from Outpost Draco. So I get here and I'm like, oh, okay, what's this little hut here? Let's get it tagged. And then realize that that statue out there is actually the one 
from the beginning that I spent a bit of time tagging. So this is the hut on the other side of the road, but there's nothing else much here, and it's getting a bit late now. But I figure if I head back to Outpost Draco, there are some plants there for... Sorry, I've said heading back to Outpost Draco about 15 times now. But I know that there are plants there to synthesize medicine, so I've cut out the running back there, because you know the way, I'm just running along the coast. On the way, I find a sunflower variant, and the sunflower variant turns out to do nothing. It's one of the anti-hallucination dr anti drugs. But I make an advanced medicine and then analyze the sunflower. It does nothing. There's no drop button, so I just leave it there. And then go back and make a regular drug here, and then head to a bed to sleep for the night. And that is your lot. I will see you for day four in the next video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far. We're going to explore the east side of the island. Lots of love. Bye.